is going to be the way forward for the Rocks Tigers. They're going to try and take Jace into Gnar. Okay. A bit more of a carry fight in the top side. To try and just kind of HP. Lava's here. Sung one as well. Of course, the flash away. Wolf low on mana. The Wolf wants wall. this. Yeah, he's looking for Lava, but now he's just isolated himself. Red buff to slow him up. And Wolf, oh dear. He's just going to be giving up that first blood key. Wondering his way up from the bottom lane. Just take Not spot until now, though. Yeah, Blast Cone. Bringing him in as they go for the dive. Tara looking for the transformation. TP coming through as well. Baker going to arrive. Realm Warp coming through. They want this. Looks like they might be able to find it. Baker's going in for Linderong. As Atara, he's got the handle there on Songwon. A little bit more damage. It's Wolf. Finish him off. And the auto Not attack will get him. Wolf is just going to take a turret shot. Songwon back out and two Lin kills last game. Should be worth noting that the Lightning Phase extending bot lane suits Song Yoon really, really well as gets E WQ here. Nice spell shield there. That's going to be the lockdown there on the Song Yoon as he goes low. Wolf. Instead, just trying to keep Bang alive. Call out going through, and that the Boomerang Blade going through. Bang is going to pick up the kill. First one here for the bottom lane. As that goes over onto the Sivir and Tara. Trying to fire back, trying to chunk out Linderong as Faker arrives with a Realm Warp. It's the Q in, gets locked down, and he'll fall. And Tara finding yet another kill. Tilter right there. Certainly. It means they get both neutrals. No smite available for someone only now, ticking off cooldown. Sometimes you feel like the whole weight of the world is collapsing on you. And that right there was the moment where Rocks thought, okay, things are bad. And here we go. This is going to be the engagement. On the hunt coming through from Bang. Firing away in on to Song Yun. Faker now arriving. There's no hope for the Varus. He just gets destroyed as Faker walks away with the kill. Out and putting Blank in. When he had just joined the squad, I'll hold my thought there. His effort gets launched on, but he's just going to go ahead and go. He gets that three man pulverized as Faker arrives. Forge God comes through, but it's not really doing a whole lot. Song Yun is going to be coming out of that stop watch, promptly taken down by Bang with the Boomerang Blade. And now Key also going to follow suit as it's a double kill going over to the Sivir. 7 to 1 here for SKT. Absolutely just destroyed. Yeah, great vision control on the top side before when they needed it. They don't need it right now. It's a nice little flash from Faker. Yeah. It's a redirection. Does get the pop up there onto Faker, who's now looking to turn things around. There's an effort in the back side. Goes in, gets that pulverized. Gets a little bit of damage. Even through the ultimate, but uh, Faker is dishing out quite a bit now. Atara arriving in, gets that killing blow in onto Key, and the rats of Rocks are running scared, but the Emperor's Divide is not going to be enough to save Lava's life. Bang comes in, takes him out, and now he's going to be looking to knock down that tier two turret here in the bottom lane. Use of Realm Invade for Vision, then start off the Baron plan for SKT. Oh, well, that's going to be an eruption coming down for the pop up. Do find it there, but. Kills have not spilled forward. Wolf nearly going down, but Faker's able to go ahead and finish off Song Wan. And you can see, just Lava way too far forward. Gets absolutely shredded. He's trying to do his damnedest. He's tanky with his horn, but there's just so much damage out from Bang, who is just racking up kill after kill, triple kill, going through for him. Linderong, the last remaining members of the Rock, remaining member of the Rock's Tigers. Essentially, that could have been a rush for Baron. But the reason why I really like taking Baron in this particular game is look who you're against, you're against Jace, Azir, and Varus. So much Lion Wave clear. Yeah. Getting the Baron buff negates that. You already know you have the full display from SK Telecom. T1 is, Had all him right. Him coming down there on the bang. Looking for the knockup, but they do not find it. But they will be able to find that kill now. Wolf landed the ultimate this time around. Does go in, takes down Song One. Massive Emperor's Divide coming through, trying to knock him back. The damage is just overwhelming from the side of SKT, even without the Sivir. In the mix, Faker goes forward, finds Linderoth. Hey, Wolf got a kill! Just about to be the ace right there as Wolf does get a kill. Congratulations, Wolf. Welcome to the jungle. Hope we see more of you, because honestly, You'll have fun it's in games. damn entertaining. SKT pushing forward. Good little... <laughs> took me a... You know, the way we talked about continues. Going for another play here on the bank. Looking for the pop-up. He sidesteps it beautifully within the Cataclysm. Trying to push forward, but... That is just taking hit after hit from that Sivir. Tara goes to the transformation. And he get oh it. Megan on this could be a juicy ultimate. He's going to go forward looking for the Emperor's Divide. Does cut him off, so not really going to be able to get the completion there that he would have liked. Could have been a massive ultimate. As Wolf goes ahead and picks up yet another kill this time. Finishing off key. Faker goes forward, charging face first up towards that fountain. Does take out the Varus. Sangin goes down, and the next resorts are going to crumble. This one, game three, considerably faster than the rest. 28 minutes on the clock. SKT with Wolf in the jungle. Take them down.
And that is going to be a victory for them. Certainly a bit more hard fought than SKT was expecting here at the beginning of the season versus the likes of the Rocks Tigers. But they look good in game two, but uh, what can you say? Wolf in the jungle here in game three. Is there nothing that this man can do? We'll start with Rocks Tigers and Can't say... Do. Nothing is... Yeah. It's a, it's a long day. Long day. We'll start with the Rocks Tigers and say, what was their pre-match goal? Look competitive. What did they do? Certainly look competitive. Sure, in game one and game three, eventually they were taken out and sung you with a bit of a wry grin. I'm sure he won't be interviewed after this one, but he'll be having some choice words about the series.